Hello, this is a movie about installing Irina, Nika and Indra packages and this one will be an installation when your internet connection is good and everything seems to be working fine. Uh, there's going to be a subsequent one where I'm going to explain how to install when the internet connection is flaky and problematic. So the first thing is what you need to do is an install Irina and Nika and possibly Indra package for USAX is to have two um, programs available. One of them is any web browser and the web browser uh, in my case Firefox is pointed to usax.xray.aps.nl.gov. This is where you can go always to get the latest version. If you look on this web page uh, you can roll down and on the left hand side there is a link to software packages. Each package, each one of the three main packages has its own web page. We can go for example to Indra, uh, Irina. It doesn't matter which one and somehow somewhere down here are going to be various types of installers. The easiest way to install the packages is by downloading the universal installer. At this time the version number is 1.24. If you click on that you can save the file and it downloads an Igor experiment on your computer which we will use to install the files uh, the necessary for Irina. Now the next thing which you need of course is your Igor Pro uh, which you need to install and at this time the latest version is 6.36. Uh, you may after installation you may want to go and check for the updates to make sure you have the latest version. Uh, so when your Igor is working so you can start Igor without any problems and everything looks okay then what you can do is you can go and look on the downloaded file and in, in our case we downloaded the universal installer. Notice that file is pretty small 147 kilobytes. You click on it and what happens is it will open an Igor Pro because it's an Igor Pro experiment and inside that you now have a main control panel and then you have some description which you may want to read through before uh, before you do installations. It contains more details. The main thing which you are interested in here is in this panel there are buttons which allow you to install the packages. Notice that <clears throat> there's a button here called check packages versions. It is run automatically on start but just in case it's not you can you can push the button again. When it's run it will check what is the version of Indra, Indra, Nika or Irina packages. If there's no version installed it's going to be minus one. And then it will tell you what version is available on the website. So there's a 2.56 is Irina, Nika is 1.67 and so on. Now it has few more other buttons. This will point you to the website if you are interested in it. This will point you to website where you can sign up for Irina mailing list or Nika mailing list. This get button, get help button opens up here, this thing. Notice that there are two checkboxes here which allow you to somehow control the use of the network. In the next movie, which I'm going to record after this one and should be available uh, on the channel also, is going to be uh, using the local copy. In this case we assume that your web connection is good and you don't need to have a local copy so you're going to use the network. You can also force the package to use FTP. At this time it's using mainly HTTP that seems to be more uh, better supported uh, protocol. Uh, there are some places which you may need to force it to use an older protocol which would be FTP. You can try one or the other. Anyway. So if you are interested in installing, for example, Irina and Nika, what you can do now is, let me just pull up this thing here. This is a history area. Here is where records will be made about installing the packages and where we can learn if everything went okay. So let's say I want to install Irina. I just go in and simply say install update Irina. The 
uh, installer would first de delete any existing Irina uh, files which are there and then goes through and downloads one after another files from our uh, from our uh, server and installs it in your in your uh, documents area and makes it there available to you so <coughs> It downloads quite a large number of, um, of files and then also updates a uh, record on my web server using uh, upload F to FTP. So then it puts, uh, puts up this dialog which you can simply say OK. Uh, what you can do is then install Nika, for example, if you need both. If you need just one of them, you install just one of them. Now, Irina installs relatively quickly, even though it's larger, because it don't, does not download an F, a PDF file uh, with a manual from uh, from our website. Uh, the Nika does because the manual is relatively smaller. Then, what you need to do is for both of these, for all of these packages, you need to install and update the XOP support. That's a support of binary files, binary files which are needed to run some of these uh, some of these tools and it will create it will pop up here an information that these these files have been downloaded it will also put up and create an alias for hdf5 xop which is actually part of igor if there were any errors during installation which we didn't have you will find out in the history area is going to be a record of it which will say I could not have downloaded this and that file and so on so then if you are making a rec uh, making a report that you were unable to install something you can copy the part of the text which talks about what errors there were and put it in an email and send it to me so at this time we should have all of these two packages installed. Now how do we find out the installation work? Let me do this. Let's close the experiment. Say no, we don't want to save it. Put that away. Now we start Igor again. And now when the Igor started again, we go to macros and notice there are two, uh, two items here, load Irina, load Nika. If you now click on load Irina, it will come up it will actually pop up this once a month reminder to check for irena update which will tell you what is the current installed version what is the web version and will also point you to the manuscripts you're supposed to um, you're supposed to uh, cite when you're using irena or specific tools in irena like the reflectivity or unified fit and if it compiles and if you get this dialog here with everything available here then yes the Irina package is installed correctly and should run if you get any errors especially errors where some functions are missing most likely you forgot to install XOP similarly if you go in and say load Nika package then you will get the same thing you will get a check this this check uh, check for updates dialog which also should tell you that you have the right version and gives you the citations which you're supposed to use when you reduce data with Nika and then again since this now works you can assume Nika is fully operational and everything has installed correctly so that's an installation using the easiest way where basically the whole installation is just pushing two buttons or three buttons actually in this case and you should be done with that